is the Notorious KIA. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, how you doing? Get comfy, hit that subscribe button. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got this amazing blowout using the Revlon blow dryer. This is my first time ever using this blow dryer in she delivered okay i finally see what the hype is about i'm also going to give you guys a quick little limbs check as well because you know the girls want to know i know it's been a while since i did some hair videos for you guys but it's just how many different twist outs can you do how many different signature froze can you do you know um but as i try new products that i think will be helpful for you guys and new methods of course i will share it um so yeah guys without further ado let's hop right into this video all right guys so here's what my hair is looking like freshly washed all that shrinkage so I am planning on doing an updated wash day routine for you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. So the first thing I like to do is detangle my hair, my whole entire hair before I begin the blow drying process. I'm gonna be using the Mizani 25 Miracle Milk. I absolutely love this product. Like this is all around a really great product. I recommend it for every natural. Not only does it help detangle, but it's also a heat protectant as well. Really, when I'm detangling, I like for my hair to be like pretty much soaking wet. Just makes life a whole lot easier. Detangling is literally like my least favorite part of wash day. It can be either super easy or it can like, you can literally rip your hair out. So I'm glad that that's done. All right, so this is my first time trying out the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. It's a little paddle brush blow dryer. I've heard so many amazing things about this, so I'm so excited to try it out. First things first, I just love how light the box is. You have so many blow dryers and they're all just super heavy and it just makes me not want to use it. And just, I rarely ever blow dry my hair or straighten it period, maybe twice a year. Um, so I really wanted to try this out. It's been a while since I blow dried my hair and I also want to do a limp check for you guys. So this is like the perfect like all in one video. So this is pretty much all it comes with. You have the blow dryer here and then the power and cord here. So here it is. Uh, it has a cool, low, and high setting. There's no way to adjust the temperature. I have a feeling I'm. it's going to be on high for me. <laughs> My only concern is the little balls at the tip of the bristles. I never really got into using paddle brushes to detangle my hair or use on wet hair just because I feel like my hair is so tightly coiled that it wraps around these little beads. So fingers crossed, hopefully that won't be an issue today. So let's get started. <laughs> This is literally so easy. Like it's, this is so light. It feels like I'm just holding a regular brush. Oh my God. <laughs> and yeah, 
I'm here for it. Like, where have you been all my life? All right. All right, so I feel like I'm gonna be here all day with it on low, so I'm gonna put it on high. My hair never gets straight this straight with a regular blow dryer. I am here for her. Yes, girl. So one section is done. It took about four minutes to blow dry this section and my hair never comes out this straight when I blow dry it. Ever, ever, ever. that's it oh my god this blow dryer is everything like it took me about 20 minutes to blow dry my entire head and that never is the case at least 45 minutes at the bare minimum my arm is aching there's so much smoke I'm over it I'm like ripping my hair out I just and it's definitely not this straight or fluffy the only downside for this I would say it's not even really a downside it does get really hot so you want to make sure that you're staying, keeping your hands away from this area. You really want to hold it right here, um, which doesn't give you much control. But I would say like the closest you can get is maybe here. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, this thing does get really hot and the low setting, I feel like I would have been here all day if it was on low. But I'm very much satisfied with this blow dry and I see what all the fuss is about. Like I'm shook. All right, <laughs> y'all should definitely check out this blow dryer if you haven't done so already. For sure, I'm gonna link it down below in the description box for you guys, so check that out. Um, so now, let me change my shirt and let's get into this lymph check. Honestly, I don't even know like the most effective way to do a lymph check, um, but we shall see. So I'm gonna take some back there clip everything else out of the way I have my measuring tape in inches again so put my left hand there and literally drag my hair down okay she got inches so we gotta back up a little bit um, to here right <laughs> and let's see where that's at that's at 12 inches for the right side of my head in the back closer And 
that's at 11 and a half inches for the back left left section the sides and also one in the front as well the left is at 11 inches Eleven inches as well. Okay. So we have about ten and a half. So we're about ten and a half in the front. So for the crown here. We're at about 11 inches at the crown. So that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video and didn't subscribe, like, why are you here? Like, why are you playing? Like, hit that subscribe button, join the club. Don't forget to hit that bell notifications as well so you'll never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So until next time, peace and dopeness.